Hospital Hero. Endoscopy Unit Former Barnsley Councillor Charlie Wraith nominated the unit for this award after receiving treatment. Charlie described them as truly wonderful, brilliant staff we are lucky to have, from the receptionist to the consultant, adding that they go above and beyond for every patient. Despite working extra shifts to work through pandemic waiting lists, the unit continues to use groundbreaking procedures and leads the way in introducing new equipment. Our team are really committed to the patient care in Barnsley. Um, we have got a really junior workforce who over the last 12 months have worked really hard to get to where we are. Um, we're extremely proud to be nominated in the Patient Choice Award. Um, we have started new services this year, one of which is the TNE service. So it's the transnasal endoscopy service that's uh, up and running now at Barnsley. It's quite uh, new within the local area. Um, we, have, we only do one clinic a week and we, um, we average around about between six to eight patients on that. The procedure itself consists of the endoscope going over the nose, up the nose, sorry, rather than uh, down the throat. This enables the patient to be able to talk while the procedure is being done and it minimises having to use sedation, so it's a lot more beneficial for the patient. We all love working on the endoscopy department. We all got more senior roles at around about the same time in endoscopy and then, like I said, the workforce has been really junior, so we have all worked really hard to ensure that the team is as felt supported and is a team. Um, we have good teamwork, we have good relationships in the team, we have friendships, so it's really nice. Diabetes Team A nomination from a patient praising the hard work and commitment of Barnsley Hospital's diabetes services has left the whole team overwhelmed that their dedication to patient care has been recognised. Clinical lead consultant Dr Elizabeth Achegbu said that the team knew it had done good work over the years but to have its ethos recognised by the community means a lot. I'm Elizabeth Achegbu and um, I'm a consultant in diabetes and endocrinology. The Bansley Integrated Diabetes Service is unique in the sense that it's one of the few places where the diabetes care is delivered in an integrated fashion. So we work with, we have teams in the community working closely with the team in the hospital. So we took, tend to manage quite a wide range of you know, conditions you know, in people living with diabetes. But and there are so many things that we're very proud of. And one of the things that we're very proud of is how we work very closely with the, with the community to, with the GP practices. You know, um, some years ago we had a program where we upskilled you know, several GP practices in the management of um, um, diabetes and that helped them to manage it better and also help in our outcomes improving you know, in the short term and also in the long term. The Barnsley Hospital Stoma Care Team a grateful daughter nominated this team after the care and support her mum received during the transition of adapting to living with a stoma. Friendly and compassionate, this unique team was praised for its humour as well as the outstanding emotional support throughout. My name is Jane Parker, I'm one of the colorectal stoma care nurses at Barnsley Hospital and I look after lots of patients in Barnsley, babies, children and adults and patients that come into the hospital that have bowel problems, particularly bowel surgery, we are called to see the patients, to look after them and to support them through a really terrible time. So we spend lots of time with the family, we go on the ward every day to support the patient, to talk them through how they're feeling from a psychological point of view, a physical point of view and get them up and going so we can get them home because that's where they need to be to, be, to recover. The privilege of looking after people that are going through such a terrible time and we are allowed to sit with them, chat with them, 
get to know them and get them better and get them home and it's a job that is it is a privilege to do it because these people come in so scared and go out confident doing the stoma care and knowing they can come back and see us so we have a stoma clinic where they can come back and we provide counselling, stoma care and just support for the patient. It's not just a, a job, it's a profession isn't it? and it's what we love to do.